More than once, crazy, stubborn hope has inspired creative strokes that snatched people from ruin. So let us try a creative experiment. Suppose that the worst has happened. Human extinction is a fait accompli. Not by nuclear calamity, asteroid collision, or anything ruinous enough to also wipe out most everything else, leaving whatever remained in some radically altered, reduced state. Nor by some grim echo scenario in which we agonizingly fade, dragging many more species with us in the process. Instead, picture a world from which we all suddenly vanished. Tomorrow. Unlikely, perhaps but for the sake of argument, not impossible. Say a homo sapiens-specific virus, natural or diabolically nano-engineered, picks us off but leaves everything else intact. Or some misanthropic evil wizard somehow targets that unique 3.9% of DNA that makes us human beings and not chimpanzees. Or perfects a way to sterilize our sperm. Or say that Jesus, more on him later, or space aliens rapture us away, either to our heavenly glory or to a zoo somewhere across the galaxy. Look around you at today's world, your house, your city, the surrounding land, the pavement underneath, and the soil hidden below that. Leave it all in place, but extract the human beings. Wipe us out and see what's left. How would the rest of nature respond if it were suddenly relieved of the relentless pressures we heap on it and our fellow organisms? How soon would or could the climate return to where it was before we fired up all our engines? How long would it take to recover lost ground and restore Eden to the way it must have gleamed and smelled the day before Adam or Homo habilis appeared? Could nature ever obliterate all our traces? How would it undo our monumental cities and public works and reduce our myriad plastics and toxic synthetics back to benign basic elements? Or are some so unnatural that they're indestructible? And what of our finest creations, our architecture, our art, our many manifestations of spirit? Are any truly timeless, at least enough so to last until the sun expands and roasts our earth to a cinder? And even after that, might we have left some faint enduring mark on the universe, some lasting glow or echo of earthly humanity, some interplanetary sign that once we were here? For a sense of how the world would go on without us, among other places, we must look to the world before us. We're not time travelers, and the fossil record is only a fragmentary sampling. But even if that record were complete, the future won't perfectly mirror the past. We've ground some species so thoroughly into extinction that they or their DNA will likely never spring back. Since some things we've done are likely irrevocable, what would remain in our absence would not be the same planet had we never evolved in the first place. Yet it might not be so different either. Nature has been through worse losses before, and refilled empty niches. And even today, there are still a few earthly spots where all our senses can inhale a living memory of this Eden before we were here. Inevitably, they invite us to wonder how nature might flourish, if granted the chance. Since we're imagining, why not also dream of a way for nature to prosper that doesn't depend on our demise? We are, after all, mammals ourselves. Every life form adds to this vast pageant. With our passing, might some lost contribution of ours leave the planet a bit more impoverished? Is it possible that, instead of heaving a huge biological sigh of relief, the world without us would miss us?